If you're a cat owner, especially a brand new owner, you're likely looking for those signs, those indicators, perhaps subtle indicators, that your cat has taken a liking to you, those signs of contentment, those signs of trust, those signs of affection. In this material, I'll detail a few notables, just a few ways that cats can show affection. As far as the most affectionate thing that a cat can do, well, that's probably for the court of public opinion, but I'll offer up my personal take. Anxious to see the final verdict. Who agrees? Who does not? Feline affection and what to look for. I've got you covered. Stay tuned. The subtle affection of a feline. That's a good summary, because unlike some animals, dogs, for example, sometimes it can be a bit difficult to get a true read on a cat. Dogs, they pretty much give it all away. An affectionate canine, a dog's entire body will spell that out. Cats are a bit of a mystery, and that mystery can leave some owners wondering how their cat really feels and what their pet really thinks about them. I'll start things off with needing. Probably not the most common sign of affection, but it's worthy to be on the list. Needing harkens back to kittenhood, and adult felines will still participate in this act, as needing is a bit of a self-soother, self-comfort. And cats, many times, if they feel comfortable, they'll just need away on their owners. Has your cat ever taken to your arm, your thigh, your chest? If your cat likes to press those front paws on you, left, right, left, right, this is very much a sign of affection. Another indicator of affection, the blink, the slow blink. This is a sign of trust. Cats don't just blink around anyone. If you're a regular around these parts, you'll know how I've mentioned the deer in the headlights look that many feral cats will give when they come face to face with a human eyes wide. Blinking is an act of foolishness when there's a threat in the air. However, if your cat just chilling on your sofa gives you the slow blink, this means that your pet is more than comfortable around you, knowing they can close those eyes and everything will be okay. This is a subtle one, but as the cool kids say, don't sleep on the slow blink. Another sign of affection is grooming. This one is a bit like kneading, and I can see how it would be left off some list, but not here, not at Senior Cat Wellness. I won't stand for it. <laughs> grooming is a sign of affection, and here's why. It's common for felines to groom each other. This is a bonding act, an act of trust, an act of affection. Well, does your cat brush up against you? Does your cat lick your hand? Same concept. Your pet is marking you. Cats groom others, other cats and people, when they're attempting to bond. By default, that makes grooming a sign of affection. Another sign of affection is headbutting. I just mentioned brushing up against you, so the act of headbutting is the perfect lead-in. Some cats and fairly aggressive will use the head almost like a battering ram. If your cat is always slamming head first into your legs and hands, whatever, this is a sign of affection. Ultimately, it's another way to mark you, to claim you as one of their own. Cats love to headbutt those they love <laughs> and those they trust. The act of headbutting, similar to kneading and grooming, harkens back to, you guessed it, kittenhood. Now, if you're looking for a couple of classic signs, meowing and purring, Make up the front line. I'll start with your cat's meow. Soft sounds, quick sounds, pretty sounds. Nothing aggressive, nothing over the top with respect to volume. If your cat gives you those gentle vocals, especially during a petting or cuddle session, this is a sign of affection. As for the purring, this is arguably the Mount Rushmore sign of contentment and affection. And personally, this would qualify as the most affectionate thing a cat can do. If your cat purrs while in your presence and your pet's body is relaxed, this is certainly a sign of a happy feline. The next one up is the showing of the belly, and I waffled on this one because while one could say that it's not the ultimate sign of affection, for me it could be deemed as the ultimate sign of trust. Cats don't expose that belly to just anyone. That region of the body is incredibly sensitive and very vulnerable. It's not uncommon to own a cat for years, and that belly, be easy for me to say, that belly area <laughs> remains off limits. If your pet is exposing the belly and letting you Head away with zero resistance, affection for the wind, and trust, even more so. Next up, what does your cat's tail have to say concerning the subject of affection? If your cat is happy, all is right with the world, your pet's tail will be upright. 
with potentially a bit of a hook, almost like a coat hanger in appearance. When your cat is resting near you, a relaxed tail will appear to be just that, relaxed, not rigid, no tension, and your cat will allow you to pet the tail and touch the tail. Everything here is a sign of affection. What about this one? Has your cat become your shadow just following you all over the house? Following is often a sign of great trust. Your adventure is their adventure. Your pet trusts you enough to be curious, and they care enough to stop whatever they're doing and just walk with you. Following is often a simple sign that indicates that you matter. And while it is common for cats to follow owners around, if the pet is in need for food and water as prime examples, if your cat is just following you simply because you are you, that's a sign of affection. What about bedtime, nap time? Not as much as your cat sleeping near you on the sofa, but although that's certainly a sign of great trust, but what about your cat following you to your bed? Your cat sleeping next to you in the bed. If your cat willingly chooses to abandon their own nesting spot and selects your bed, this is a major win. Now, you don't have to like it, and I can understand if you don't. When it comes to trust and affection, this is a major win. Your cat's desire to sleep near you is a sign that your pet views you as a protector, a safety net. That feral cat with the deer in the headlights look, your cat sleeping in your bed, well, that's the complete opposite of Mr. Feral, no doubt about it. And before I close today, I think I've saved the weirdest and probably most undesirable for last, and that's your cat bringing you things. <laughs> if your cat is allowed to roam the great outdoors, this expression of affection will eventually happen for all that you've done for me. Here's a bird. Here's a lizard. Would you fancy a mouse? How about a snake? Consider it a token of my appreciation. Yeah, that's gross. But it's a good thing. Cats at their core, they're hunters, and hunters bring the food home, don't they? If your cat's bringing you presents, this is a sign of affection. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, I was honestly on the fence about it, but I said purring. I went with purring as the most affectionate thing a cat can do. It's close. Headbutting is right up there with kneading. It's very close. Ask me tomorrow and I could change my mind. Again, but to the audience, you guys, everybody, what would you consider to be the most affectionate thing a cat can do? Was it even on this list? Was it not covered in the video? Please let me know. And to the new owners, the novice owners, if you're looking for signs of affection, those subtle signs, especially something like the slow blink. I hope this video helped you out today. All the best to you as you begin your journey. And that comment section, you know what's up. The comment section, as always, it's all yours. If you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching. And I will talk to you later.